Channel 6 News Live at 5 continues with today's Family HealthCast. They are not pretty and can be painful, but now there's good news for the millions of people who have varicose veins. A minimally invasive procedure has replaced a painful surgery, one that used to get rid of them. Now, Cerise Cole explains in this month's Health Check Report. Even a casual stroll can be painful for Tammy Barker. As I stand, they bulge out more than what you're seeing right now. This is why. She got her first varicose vein after her first child, another with her second. At first, she was just worried about how it looked. It was not pretty, and then, you know, you didn't wear shorts, and um, then eventually it got to be that my legs started to hurt. Dr. Jeffrey Himmelberg told Tammy about the venous closure procedure. Doctors place a small catheter through the vein where the valves aren't working properly, numb the vein wall, then apply energy into the catheter, which creates heat. The heat damages the lining of the blood vessel wall, shrinking and healing the vein. It's minimal pain. We treat them in, you know, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and then one hour later they're walking out the door right back to living their life. Patients can begin to feel and see a difference in a week. What you won't see here in this waiting room are men. Dr. Himmelberg says only 15% of his patients are male. He says that's because most men tend to wait until the condition gets bad. He says waiting too long can lead to chronic swelling, discoloration, even skin ulcers. That's, that's lovely then. Tammy's not waiting. She just had one leg treated and is looking forward to being healed completely. I'll be able to be on the elliptical longer and not um, feel like my legs are, you know, so tired. And enjoy longer walks with her family. In Fremont, with photographer Mike Plews, Cerise Cole, Channel 6 News. So who is most at risk for getting varicose veins? The older we get, the more common it actually becomes. People with a family history of varicose veins and women, especially those who have had children, are more at risk too.